I'm ready. All right, so we're gonna answer these questions. All right, so we need to make this video. Yes. Um, because I feel like our patterns have been disrupted. Basically, we're in cancel everything mode. Yes. <laughs> March 14th, a lot happened this week. Yeah. And we're, we're currently bunkered down. Yes, very. Yeah. And we had plans. We had lots of plans and things we were excited about getting into as Over the we next couple months, we had 2020. with the tour, and now it's looking like things are changing fast, and a lot of those things may be put on hold or delayed uh, until further notice. So. Yeah. But with the conversations that we've had together, it's been an opportunity to be flexible. So I thought we could just get on here and chat a little bit since everything is canceled. And answer, <laughs> and answer some questions. And answer some questions. And so as we make like adjustments in our homeschool and life, in light of current um, happenings, even though everything is canceled, we can talk about how we are gonna move through it. Whose idea was it to start a family business and was everyone on board? Okay. Serena, ever since we've been married, has been starting businesses. We got married the month after we graduated college. We graduated in May, we got married in June. It was Serena's plan that she wanted to go to dentistry school. That didn't work out, she kind of changed course and then she started photography. She kind of taught herself photography. Before, no, no, before that, she had a scrapbooking business. Serena was big on scrapbooks. <laughs> so she had this whole room in our house that she hooked up this wall unit of scrapbooking supplies. When I go for things, I go for things. Serena is extreme. <laughs> She's either like, no, I'm not doing it, or I'm doing it 100%, or yeah. I kind of live in the middle. So at first it was a scrapbooking business. That really didn't, you know, kind of go anywhere. That was before. I did have a few orders though. <clears throat> you did have a few orders. So next, she had a photography business. She was teaching herself photography. Um, Do you remember the name of my first photography business? Her, in the beginning, it was Strawberry Wine Photography. <laughs> I don't know where the strawberry wine came you from. You know, you y'all, Strawberry Wine 17. Are you singing? It was a country song, and so, I liked it, so. So we had strawberry wine photography. Okay. She was doing that. The goal there was weddings. We went to Dominican Republic to do a wedding. You know, we travel around, do these weddings on the weekend. I think we had Cameron at that point, and she wanted to be more family and baby. She didn't want to be going every weekend. And once she had Cameron, she started a blog. It was like a mommy me blog. So that was going to be like an online magazine. It's always been the businesses. I, I could I could list more the t-shirts. It's always been something. Well, she's always had that more entrepreneurial spirit. And I think that's how our backgrounds come into play. Her dad has his own business. Her uncle has his own business. Her aunt, where, you know, my dad worked for the Department of Defense, you know, for 30 years. My mom really had, I think, two jobs. She recently retired. So I kind of saw that stable, you know, get a job, you know, work on that job, where she saw people having different businesses and starting, you know, having these ideas and putting them into play. So, a long answer to your question. What was the original question? Whose idea was it to start a family business? And it's, was everybody on board? It's always been her idea. But the thing was that as I started businesses, I was always looking for ways to use whatever gift I had been given. Yeah. But in trying those different things, I would identify. Like, in trying those things, I'd be able to identify the things that I really liked about it and the things that maybe weren't a good fit. So like with scrapbooking, it just took a very long time. And then with weddings, again, I didn't want to be gone on the weekends. Mm -hmm. Oh, so with Mommy Me, I still feel like that was a great idea for his time. And I wish I had gone a little bit more for it. But Brian was, again, very more like stable. You have a job. And it was just hard for me to juggle having a small baby and trying to get this idea off the ground at the time where blogs were like just coming out. So each time I just kind of looked at how it benefited us as a family. If it was adding to what my goals mm -hmm. were or if it was taking us away from one another. So quality time is my love language. I'm an introvert to the core. And quality time is my 100% top major <laughs> love language. So if it was pulling me away from having quality time with the kids or with Brian, like, I didn't yeah. want to do it. Yeah. And then when homeschool came about, I wanted to contribute. So I would do uh, photography work 
and again it even though I enjoyed it, there was a major portion of it that was taking me away from them. I think that's always been a big part of it, though. Yeah. We're very different. She has these, she gets these <laughs> ideas, and the ideas are very strong, and they have to, she has to... But they have a purpose, and they have a goal. Yeah, but it and can't just stay an idea and be like, oh, you know, I had that idea. <laughs> it has well, to... Well, what's the point of like, that? Like, with the strawberry wine, I think um, that was the first time you actually created a website, and I think oh, I, you'll, yeah. you'll leave Serena alone for, like, she'll get this idea in her head, you'll leave her alone for, like, four or five hours, and you'll come back in the room, and she'll have created a whole website, like a whole logo, <laughs> color palettes. <laughs> and at first I was like, well, how did, who... How, who taught you to do like how did you do this as I moved into homeschool and I realized this was like my main priority I just kept trying to think of ways that it could actually be a, a main priority mm -hmm. and so that's when the Falco family became more of a business mm -hmm. and I wouldn't even call it business as much as it's, like a vision of how you what you yeah, saw it's for a the vision family. of what I saw how for you wanted to operate and yeah you know. so it was my idea so the second part of the question is, has everyone always been on board? No. Nope. So, no. 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 Nope. I kind of always saw it as, okay, that's your thing, you can do that, and then I have what I have to do. Yeah. And she always saw it, I think she always saw us doing it together, and then she, her strengths are very strong on the creative side. But not on the administrative side. Oh, you gotta leave my stuff all out like but that. But you said we're doing the Q and A, okay, so, so right. people need so people need to know. Okay. So it took me a while to really realize that she needed my help, and you know, in those areas. So no, I haven't always been on board, but I'm getting better. Yeah. So at what point age did the kids start to appreciate and be eager about helping? I think kids are eager about helping yeah. from day one. Yeah. I think that the more you communicate to them what your vision is and what you see for your family, like they are 100% on board. I remember when I told the kids about the tour, like they're so, you communicate stuff to kids and it's so much so in the forefront of their minds, like. Serena is very big though on making, she's very good on making things a um, thing, a, a thing <laughs> or a big deal to kids, things yeah. that are very, very simple. Like yeah. the tour and I was like, what? Is a tour but basically just some some trips that we're taking oh but th that's okay because i think that's what happens like you we do that like i do that too you minimize something and say oh it's just this or oh it's just that but but when you put intention and purpose behind a thing it becomes so much more than yeah. just something and they really get basic. excited yeah. yeah so they've yeah. always they've always gotten excited yeah about helping out whatever it is anything they do Serena is very good about making it a thing, yeah. and they, they, they become excited, they jump on board. This one's kind of the same, but have you and your husband always been like this, or is this a big step for both of you? And how much have you had to nudge, inspire your family to jump on board? Well, I'm always dreaming big in front of my family, so I mean, I think every day is a nudge. Um, it's just a little bit more of a giving them a little bit more of the vision. Because I think once I, what I had to realize was that the vision was mostly given to me. Um, and it was my job to try and communicate what I see for us to them. Sometimes we express ourselves to someone that we trust and we think that they should just automatically get it. And that's not the case because you see something very clearly and they may not be there yet. And so I think we have to have patience and they have to have trust in us. And it's just part of building that relationship, I guess. As far as it being a big step, I do think that it's a big step for both of us, but just in different ways. Yeah. For me, it's a big step because it's like, I know that the vision is there. I can feel it, I can taste it, I know it's there. Um, but for me, just having the courage enough to step out on those things is a big step mm -hmm. for me. Step out a bit further. Cause like Brian said, like I'm really good at drawing up a website or laying out a strategy and execution is my issue. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm big on the, on planning, the dreaming on the planning and the planning. Part. And I'm not so good on the execution, but he's like amazing at the execution. The thing is, like getting us to the point in our relationship where we can. I don't like the plan. Can... <laughs> I don't like the, like the plan. Yeah, he doesn't like the plan. Well, I wouldn't even say that you don't like the planning. I think it's just that 
the planning without execution is what bothers it's me. Very, it, yeah, for, it frustrates me. Yeah, so, so that's can. a big step for him, just having, trusting in himself and and our relationship to be able to work together um, is a big step. Yeah. And just take these two extremes, because like I'm an extreme planner, visionary, and he's an extreme execution, like get things done, like mm -hmm. he gets things done. So yeah, it's a matter of us like working together and working through those things because it's hard being married to an introvert and a dreamer. Amen. <laughs> Did you <That's> amen? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> On to the next question. Okay. Um, next question was introvert versus extrovert. So I'm very much, I guess, an extrovert. Uh, Serena you don't very... guess. Okay. Serena is very much an introvert. Someone explained it like this. This person who was talking was an introvert and they said that being around people drains them. That's and true. that is Serena. We can go to a friends, gather friends <laughs> gathering, something simple, nothing too big. Simple. And she comes home and she's like tired for two days. Wholeheartedly like, drained friends. I'm like, it's Tuesday. That was Saturday. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm the exact opposite. I'm always trying to you know. Like it fuels him to be around people, but it is hard for me because it does drain me. I no longer feel condemned about being an introvert and instead what I'm trying to do is focus my energy on finding ways to refuel. Like what do I need to do to fill myself back up? So I'm working on that, but we're totally opposite. Yeah. Introvert, extrovert. Definitely. Are you an extrovert? Mm -hmm. Are you an introvert? Tell us what you are. What is the tour going to look like? Can we get some nitty gritty details? In what <laughs> ways are you wanting to grow as a family? Homeschool related or not this year? So the tour today Cancel is everything. March. <laughs> Today's like what? That's March? basically what it's going to look like right now. No. no, we're not okay. canceling everything. No, we're not. Today is March uh, 14th. So this week a lot happened as far as the whole yeah. coronavirus and sports and everything's canceled schools are being canceled i guess for the foreseeable future two weeks month. we're adjusting i watched the movie the biggest little farm have you guys seen that movie i love that movie yeah, it was but good. there is a quote in there and when i figure out what it is i'll put it on the screen and that's basically what we are doing right now just giving ourselves a little bit of space to sit with the changes and then just adjust I think it's going to be a really good thing though. The first thing I did in making the plans for the tour was adjust my expectations from traveling all over to, to focusing on the East Coast. And once I made that adjustment, instead of being disappointed, I was really, really excited and started to see like all of the opportunities that were there. And I think with the new happenings, we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take our original expectations of focusing on the East Coast mm -hmm. and focus in even further to whatever's in mm -hmm. our backyard and our communities. And the more that I think about that, the more I get excited about it, because I'm like, it's a really wonderful opportunity to put our preparation to work and just really uh, practice being out and exploring you know, in our own community. And I think something good is gonna come from that. So once I settle in my heart that we're adjusting, set aside the disappointment and focus in on what is in my reach or what is in our reach, that's when like the light really gets brighter. And so I'm excited about that. So with that being said, we are going to be exploring through and adventuring in our own backyard and our own communities because I'm sure there's so much that we've missed. So mm -hmm. that's the plan for right now. We're just going to focus ourselves even more. We're going to forget the past, put it behind us, and look forward to what lies ahead of us. So that is kind of what we're planning on doing right now until we can do a little more. Okay, the second part of that is in what ways are you wanting to grow as a family, homeschool related or not this year? That's a good question. I mean, the answer to that has everything to do with what the Falcon family is, which means that we just wanna continue living life by faith and with love. Just growing in our relationships with one another, spending time together and just seeing the fruit from all of our sacrifice. Sacrifice in that, you know, not going out to pursue huge careers away from the family. Um, and nothing is wrong with that if that is part of what your purpose is because sometimes we do have to sacrifice family because there's a bigger or greater calling or purpose on our lives. Does that make sense? Yeah. I am not from the school of 
homeschool family who invest time and energy in knocking people who might be away from their family a little bit more because mm -hmm. sometimes that is the sacrifice of service, right? Um, but as far as we're concerned, you know, this is what our vision is for our family and our what we believe our purpose to be together. One thing I wanted to do this year was continue to get closer with the kids and make yeah. most of this time. You know, they are getting older and it was starting to hit me. Cameron turned 11, 11. Kendall's nine. Um, we were talking with someone a little bit ago and they referenced their 10 year plan. And I thought about it and I was like, 10 years. Cameron's going to be years. 21. Wow. That's and um, <laughs> Savannah will be almost 17. Yeah. And, you know, this childhood thing, you know, will be over. We're in a totally different phase of life, you know, Serena and I. So really just trying to slow down yeah. and take advantage of the time that we do have here, you know, making memories, you know, spending time with them. The most time that we can, you know, meaningful, you know. That's good, babe. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. They were good questions. They were. But hopefully that helps you get to know us a little bit better. So we're looking forward to all of the adventures and lessons that are ahead because life is really so full of lessons. So. And we live and we learn. Oh, you did it! I did it. <laughs>